for those Reapers to do any damage. And we are going to go into what could be the last game, actually, and quite the this comeback. Definitely this, be match point. This, it, this is match point. Uh, maybe not the ace match, but match point. So, this is going to be game two of the final best of three series of the Diamond Bracket. In our bottom left, we have a Red Terran Sidon. And in the top right, up 1-0 in this best of three, is our Blue Terran Percival. So, this has been a bit of a cheese fest of a finals. Do you think either of them is going to brave actually trying something fancy again? You know, to be honest, these players are at such a high level, I would really, really like to see a macro game between the two of them to see who can really multitask faster and multitask more efficiently. And we are not going to see that. Yes, however, Percival <laughs> does enjoy um, cheese uh, on his pizza, on his macaroni, and in his StarCraft games. This is a uh, six cheese pizza finals that we have gotten here. <laughs> so, Good. it'll be interesting. This should be, depending on the gas... Okay, so this will be a two barracks... Or a pro, uh, excuse me. Proxy two barracks um, marines, potentially... Um, as soon as he gets another 150 mineral, he will have that second barracks going down. Um, I'd like to keep in mind that Parzal is doing a great job of both hiding these barracks and putting them close enough that that reinforcement time is not too great um, to be able to uh, attack efficiently towards the main base of Satan. Yes, and I would like to point out that this SCV now scouting into Parzival's base is going to have a heart attack, and honestly, if I was in Satan's spot, I would be wondering, is he just hiding hiding the barracks down and it's natural just to fake me out? You know, what kind of mind games have been going on here? But these two barracks are starting to produce marines. In a very smart play by Satan, instead of creating a second supply depot to wall off, he has created that bunker. Oh, beautiful, that might save him. Okay, so those those marines will have a lot more to deal with in the way of health. They will have to do 400 damage before they can even start to touch the marines that Satan will be pumping out. Yes, and actually Satan has seen that there's no gas, so he's he knows it is not Reapers, so a wall-off is exactly the way to go. And it finishes just as these SCVs and the marine are coming up. Oh, there is no way this is going to do damage. I wonder what Parzival is thinking right now. He's in a place where he's going to have a very hard time playing an economic game. Um, he is not down on workers, uh, but he is down on the positioning of his buildings, which is uh, not something to be uh, taken too lightly. He will have to move those barracks if he doesn't want them to die. He's instead decided that he will contain... Uh, Satan, so he's going to say, you know, I'll leave these units here, I'll uh, potentially move, yep, move those barracks straight back, um, but I'm going to delay your natural base um, so that I can mitigate my losses here. And if you look at the uh, the factory he's building right now, I would be very surprised not to see a tank come out of that to break that contain as soon as he realizes what's going on. And that is a tech lab coming down. So yeah. this will not last very long. That was a beautiful read by Satan, a beautiful defense. Yeah, and a continued very, very intelligent uh, play. So he will just swap that barracks in that factory. The barracks is already rallied to go somewhere else. There's the swap, and so you are absolutely right. We'll see a tank come out to break that containment. On the other hand, Parzival is making another bunker back at his natural in order to defend. He has decided to go command center after barracks. He will play three barracks in a command center. Uh, this is a little bit older style. People tend nowadays to play one barracks into a command center. Um, or at most two if they want to go uh, heavy on the offense very early in the game. Um, so he'll have a solid defensive setup as far as production is concerned. Um, I'll be very interested to see if he can take these Marines back um, and create enough of a defense for this command center, um, especially against this tank. I think he anticipated it. The tank can't move quickly. If he gets stim out and he catches that tank on siege, that will be the end of the game. Yes, and I'm I'm very curious to see how Sidon's going to need to catch up economically. So he's going to need to do some sort of damage uh, with the units that he has right now. He is getting a starport, so he will be able to do some drops. And I think that actually might do quite a bit of damage to, to Parv uh, excuse me, Parzival if he is not ready for that. Okay, he so we'll lose 
Uh, oh, so he'll only keep one of those marines. Excuse me, sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say, uh, it, with Parsifal being so far behind on tech, he's not going to have a Viking or uh, any sort of tank back home, and a medevac with a couple of marines is going to do so well against even just a couple more marines, just without the medevac. So you can just so completely bypass that bunker. He can, and Sayedin is turning around, and he will have a strong one base tank push. He is making that Viking so that he can get the high ground vision. That's something we saw Parsifal do in the last game, or two games ago, excuse me. Um, I am somewhat surprised that it's a Viking and not a medevac, just with all those marines. Um, it's, it's truly because the Viking, I believe, has a bit more health, um, and he can't afford to lose a medevac also being more expensive in gas. Um, That's true, he might not have been able to actually afford it. Because he was building another tank as well. And that bunker is going to go down. Very interesting, we'll see if he can move his tank up and get some Oh, he's got hits. two tanks now. And he can just leapfrog those ahead, and that big pack of marines has nowhere to run. They cannot get up to that ramp without getting shelled horribly. And if he gets a vision of this, he actually can touch that bunker um, the very tip of the range of his tanks. Um, so Parzival will have to create it farther back. And Satan, like you said, can just keep bunny hopping these uh, tanks one over another. He has a third part. one coming up now as well. And here comes oh. the Viking, uh, and followed by another Viking. Still surprised to not see a medevac behind that at this point. But, again, like you said, it's more health and... Oh, but uh, Parzival does have a tank of his own on the high ground. The important thing to see here will be which tank can hit which tank, and the big deal will be with vision. We can see that it's the Viking, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Viking. the Viking makes all the difference in the world, and that base is going to go down. This is the damage that Satan needed to do, and he is taking a pretty hefty supply lead. Yeah, this this should be the end of the game. Satan at this point can just, like he has done, take another command center, create a second base, while Parzival is really uh, just stuck on the one that he has. Um, he can't really reclaim that second base quite yet. Alright, uh, four, four tanks now for Sin. And with that vision advantage, it, even on an even tank count. Oh, and that command center got very ahead of itself. Not sure. Yeah, I wonder. That probably won't be able to be repaired, so that'll be a lost orbital. Uh, oh, that one SCV was not in time to repair it. And I would like to note that that's eight support. Uh, excuse me. It looks like maybe 15 supply. Um, oh, okay, because of also depots. Um, so Parswell is very, very severely supply locked. Um, Definitely. Locked. We do have a barracks out here for vision now, which will last actually quite a while against that Viking. And he will need to use, he does have a tank advantage. Oh, no, he doesn't anymore. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. Oh, so he's moving in. He's <laughs> trying to. Oh, he just pumped up all his tanks. Oh, oh man. And that'll. The yeah, tanks that'll are taking splash. Him. Oh, yeah, this. This has just gone downhill very quickly. And it looks like Satan's about to take this game. Yes, it does. Yeah, the SUVs. The final Hail Mary. Interestingly, it looks like Parsifal is using them not to attack, but to simply buy time. See if he can... No, and he won't be able to do that. Yeah, all the tanks just camping the, pr the production centers. Even three Vikings landed now. Two tanks pop out and instantly go down. All the Vikings landed. That is GG, well played from Parzival. And this will head off in a very exciting game three of our last best of three. This is it. This is the ace match.